Confused by pavement ride quality and IRI specifications? Here are some common questions and answers. Is there a list of qualified IRI testing agencies or consultants? Local public agencies, LPAs, do not need a recommendation or permission from local aid in an RFQ slash RFP for IRI data collection services to independent testing agencies. The procurement division keeps track of pre-qualified consultants and their approved disciplines, which may prove helpful to LPAs. Consultants used by the NJDOT, AID, WSP, Stantec, HNTB, Michael Baker International. Is the RRI testing agency supposed to be independent? The RE designates an independent testing agency. This is a requirement in paragraph 2 of subsection 401.03.07.J of the Special Provisions for State Aid Projects. If the prime contractor contests the results of the IRI testing, what happens? This becomes a legal issue when the prime contractor is accusing the independent testing agency of incompetence or corruption. Local aid is not in privity with the prime contractor nor the independent testing agency, so this civil dispute falls to whichever parties are part and parcel of the agreements to produce and test the final writing surface of the project. Unless some other legal matter takes precedence, local aid will obey subsection 401.03.07.J of the Special Provisions for State Aid Projects. Local aid will use the IRI data taken by the independent testing agency hired by the RE. What is the schedule to test for IRI after paving? The special provisions for state aid projects doesn't have a required time schedule for IRI testing after a project is paved. IRI testing is a requirement for the LPA to get reimbursed with grant funds, and the IRI values on a roadway only get worse over time so the LPA is risking a greater penalty and possibly rescinding funds when IRI testing is delayed. Can the prime contractor retain IRI testing as part of the bid? The RE and the LPA are responsible for the post-construction IRI testing as per paragraph 2 of subsection 401.03.07.J. The LPA must go through all applicable legal procedures and methods to obtain IRI testing stemming from the local public contract laws and regulations. How much does IRI testing cost? This depends on the scope of the project and how much paving surface needs to be tested. The RE needs to go through a competitive process to choose an independent testing agency per local public contract laws competitive contracting process. Local aid can supply estimates in place of independent testing agencies during a competitive bidding process. The cost of material testing and construction inspection is reimbursable up to 15% of the final eligible construction cost from state aid grants. Does local aid need to verify or check the IRI values from the independent testing agency? Local aid does not need to verify or check the IRI values from the independent testing agency for accuracy. Local aid does not have the equipment to verify the raw data collected by the independent testing agency. The independent testing agency must report the IRI values for the project on the IRI testing summary report forms provided by local aid. Does local aid accept waivers for right quality? There are no waivers for the NHS or roadways under NJDOT jurisdiction. There are allowable exclusions for ride quality requirements, impediments, short sections, etc., which can be found on this webpage maintained by the Pavement and Drainage Management Ag Technology Unit. Do roadway slopes impact IRI? Roadway slopes do not impact IRI values. IRI values are an expression of the smoothness of a longitudinal road profile, so driving up a hill won't have an impact on the IRI. If you don't close a roadway for the collection of IRI values, what do you do for intersections where the profiler is forced to stop? There are exclusions for IRI for intersections and short sections where these situations may occur. Additionally, 
each wheel path is driven three separate times as part of NJDOT test method NJDOT R-1, determining ride quality of pavement surfaces. So any impact from instances where the profiler must slow down can be accommodated for. Does roadway striping affect IRI measurements? Roadway striping won't have an impact on IRI. Do slurry seals affect IRI? Any paving on the final riding surface affects IRI. Additionally, any paving of a layer less than one inch thick uses a different formula in order to calculate the IRI values. How fast does a road profiler need to be traveling to get accurate roadway values for IRI calculation? Different types of road profilers will function at different speeds. The inertial profilers required by the special provisions for state aid projects operate at any speed over 16 miles per hour. The slowest profilers are walking profilers, which must be operated at walking speed. See Tech Brief FHWA HIF 16 032 for different types of profilers and their appropriate functioning speeds. The Learning Center webpage on the Local Aid Resource Center has tons of resources on the special provisions and related issues. Always remember to check for the most up-to-date forms on the Local Aid Resource Center and NJDOT website.